Hey everyone, it's Kevin here with Views About Anything, and today we have the pair of Soul 714 SMs, also known as the Steve McQueen sunglasses <coughs> from Pair Soul. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to unbox this, show you what comes with the sunglasses, the sunglasses themselves, and then I have two other pair of sunglasses to compare them to if you're wondering sizing, shape, other things like that. So the box is pretty plain. It's just this textured cardboard in parasols right here, and a slight gloss. Nothing on this side, or that side, or this one, this one. And the back is your serial code and some other information right there. And then a, a print of, it says Steve McQueen trademark licensed by Chadwick McQueen. Uh, I believe that's his son, and Terry McQueen and uh, the green light uh, representatives of green light so <clears throat> that's all it says on the outside of the box inside there's nothing there so you get your sunglasses and this uh, leather pouch you have a special edition fold out uh, diagram of the sunglasses a little note on the inside that says, Congratulations, you have acquired the 714 worn by the iconic Steve McQueen. And each frame is painstakingly handcrafted by our artisans, uh, meaning every product is a timeless work of art, unparalleled design, technology, and style. And that's in a few different uh, languages. Then they have another little slip, which says the same thing in a few different languages. I don't know why they include two, but they do. The Lumuxicon little pamphlet. Uh, if you're not familiar with Lumuxicon, I believe that's how it's pronounced. I'm probably actually pronouncing it wrong, but this is the giant sunglass company. They own <coughs> Persol, they own Ray-Ban, they own Oakley, they own Revo, and I think a couple of like name brands that, that are theirs. And then they're also one of the uh, biggest or largest, however you want to call that, maker of licensed sunglasses. So your, your, your high-end designer brands are also made by this company. Uh, there is, in here is the microfiber cloth. It's not in there and I'll uh, show you why in a minute. The Pearsol little booklet with your warranty and uh, registration and other stuff like that in there. And then these two plastic sleeves were on the arms. And then this was a little tag that was around the sunglass bridge. It just says polar for polarized. So let's put all this to the side. Get to the sunglasses. So here's the sunglasses in their case. This is a real leather case. Uh, it smells really pungent when you open the box. It's nice. So, and it's magnetic. There's a little magnet there, keeps it closed. Get up on it, there you go. Like that, and then here are the sunglasses. Inside of it, it's a nice soft material. It's just the other side of the leather really, but they didn't do any type of finishing or anything like that to it, so it's nice and soft. So here are the glasses. So you see I just folded them out. And as you can tell, here's the microfiber cloth I was mentioning earlier. Uh, it's a brown microfiber cloth. It has parasol uh, right here on it. And the reason that I have the microfiber cloth on it already is because of this. So here is one of the unique features of these sunglasses, obviously, is they fold up. So the arms have to fold up as well, here and there, obviously. This is a actually very nice metal bracket right here, but this is a very sharp edge. It's not like gonna cut me or anything, but it is a sharp, like precision, like cut edge right here. And when you fold this down, it's touching the lens of your sunglasses if I didn't have this microfiber cloth here. It, it touches right there and it touches on the other side. So what I do to make sure that these lenses don't get scratched is I take the microfiber cloth, fold it in half, and wrap it around them before I close it. 
So this is one of the styles. I have a couple styles from what I've seen online. This one folds out and then folds out again. Some of them I've seen bend downward and then fold in. It just, I, I guess they had two designs. I'm not really sure why, but those are the two that I've seen. If there's more, I'm not sure. Then again on this other side, folds out and then folds out. Check out the microfiber cloth so you can see it. So here's the hinge for the bridge. And there's two rivets, it looks like. I guess you, and uh, two flathead screws. And then the hinge over here, same thing. The pat, I believe it's patented or unique or however you want to call it, double flex bridge hinge, whatever you want to call it here that parasol is known for. So these fit better on your face without warping the frame up here. The, the hinge again for it to collapse. Same thing on the other side, of course. And this is all adjustable, which is nice. So you can adjust the tension on this part, this part, the bridge here, there and there. All that's nice and adjustable. Because I know some people like to flick their arms out, you know, they'll they open it and then this arm will be here and then they, you know, flick this arm out. So I guess if you want to loosen these up so you can flick them open, you can. And for the lenses, it is a blue code lens that's polarized. This is the black. They also come in a tortoise and like a dark brown and kind of a, I guess it'd be a tannish kind of goldish color with brown in it. And then the, the, the other one's majority brown with kind of like tans and golds in it. I really like the black frame, uh, personally. I think this is the one that he's known for wearing in movies and stuff like that, and in just day-to-day -day life. Here on this arm, the left arm, it says Steve McQueen, it says your model and everything, and then on this side, it tells you Pearsol, and then, let's see if I can get that to focus here, handcrafted in Italy, and then polarized. These are not huge sunglasses. Uh, I have, like I said, a couple pair of sunglasses to compare them to for you. So first, I'm gonna break out what I believe most people are probably gonna compare these to, just because it's another iconic shape, another iconic style, um, also made in Italy, of course, and that is the Wayfair. So I'm gonna put them right next to each other. So as you can see, actually, I'm going to put them like that. They're about the same width. Now the lenses are smaller. So if I put them like that, so you can see. The lenses on the Wayfarers are smaller. But these are the medium. I know they have a smaller and a bigger lens, so I don't know what the big lens we can pay in comparison to this, but you know, this is the medium just to show them side by side. A little bit longer, a little bit wider. Uh, this is not the polarized lens, this is just their standard green tinted lens. So that's that, and then I guess from a side profile to show that off, the Persol has a much thinner arm. Uh, they feel like they're made of the same similar material. The Persols might be slightly different, it's a little bit smoother, a little bit more polished. Uh, and. Also, I don't know if you can see in the video here, but right here in the bridge, right there, you can almost see it's kind of like a matte finish, but it looks like it's actually been milled or cut. So it seems like, unlike these where this is an injection mold, is that's my guess is these, this is an injection mold, and then, you know, they probably polish them or whatever and then put the lenses in. This one looks like this was a piece, and then they cut this out. This was a separate piece, they cut that out. And I'm not sure about the rest of it, of course, because I'm, I haven't taken this apart, and there's a hinge here to, to where I can't really see if it's been cut or milled or, or CNC'd or whatever. So, but my guess is from, from these two front parts, all this is like one piece or maybe, you know, a, a came from one piece or something, but that you can tell they're, they're a higher quality sunglass than these. Not that these are bad quality, these Ray-Bans, uh, Ray but this you can just tell is there's 
more detail and other things. Of course, these you can find for around $200. These are $400, so you expect to a little bit higher quality. The next pair that I have are the Oakley Frog Skins. So another, it's very similar to the Wayfarers, of course, but a little bit bigger. Uh, I have the USA editions here, so to compare that for you. So a little bit closer in size of the lens, a little bit longer on the pair of soles. Of course, and these are just regular like mass produced style sunglasses from Oakley, you know, they're not super special or anything like that. Um, these are the ones with the plastic hinge. They do have the frog skins with the metal hinge. Those are the LX ones, but you know, that's just, that's not what this is obviously. So just to compare the shape and everything and the, of course, the side view, the frog skins do have a slightly smaller arm, unlike the wafers, which they're kind of close to. So I hope you found this video helpful. Uh, if you're looking to buy these sunglasses, you're not really sure how they're going to be or how they're going to look. I'll put all three of them here and try to, so you can see them together like that. This is kind of, but there we go. They're all about level with each other. So if you're curious, you know, about these pair of soles, looking to get a pair yourself, I recommend them. There's not, uh, I know they're a limited edition run. I don't know if they're actually going to make any more. Uh, I recently just got them on this most recent run. If they're going to, like I said, if they're going to make more or not, I'm not 100% sure. But uh, this is Kevin uh, with Views About Anything, and I hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. I'll try to answer them. If not, maybe someone else can. And uh, see you in the next video.